Hello everyone, welcome back to uh, my let's play of Rise of Flight. Uh, I'm NPC, once again, I'm your pilot, uh, and today we're going to embark on episode 2 of Teddy Bishop's career mode. Uh, I say we just jump right in. I'm going to switch over, hold on, one moment, to Pat Wilson's campaign generator. As you can see here, this is our... <laughs> this is the score scoreboard from where we left off last time. We have Lieutenant Teddy Bishop, our main man right here. One mission, one victory. Pretty standard, I guess. Actually, I'm, I'm, I'm even glad we got one kill last time. <laughs> if any of you have played Rise of Flight, then you know it's perfectly possible to go up on a mission and then come back with literally no kills. And uh, when I do go up here and click the little uh, mission button to get us going, then uh, you're basically just going to be getting a randomly generated mission. And for all we know, it could be something really boring and really long and really have nothing to do with anything. So we'll hope we get something good. Maybe a scramble. Scramble would be cool. Uh, switching back to the game for a moment. As you can see, we're again going to be flying our trusty DH-2. Airco DH-2. I think I've been pronouncing that wrong the whole time. I think I said Acro last time. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it's Airco now that I actually look at its name. And, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm pretty sure it's Airco. <laughs> Apologies to all you plane enthusiasts out there. I would like to consider myself one of you, but I don't know. I don't think I, I don't think I can after a flub like that. Yeah, all right, so we'll go back to the, the campaign generator. We'll uh, get Teddy Bishop here underway. Let's go with mission. What do you got for us? Ooh, that looks long. Still patrol. <clears throat> we're jumping to the other side of the... Uh... Oh, God. Zooming in all over the place here. Okay, so we're jumping to the other side of the no man's land here. That's that's going to be quite the mission. Okay. Well, uh, yeah, we're going to take extra fuel on this one. Normally we went to we took like 25 last time. We'll take 75 because that's actually still plenty of fuel. A full tank is enough time to fly for like three hours in this game, so I I don't think I'll need that much fuel. <laughs> it's not gonna take that long. Otherwise, dear God, this is gonna be one cut up episode. Let's just uh, let's take a quick look see over at our pilot selection here. Again, I'm at the very bottom. No, we're still flying with uh, Major Hubert or er, Herbert Hubert. Herbert Crowley and Fabian Richmond. Those guys are, they were with me on my last mission, if you remember right. But, um, uh, Graham Hewitt, Hugh Lewis. Graham, no, sorry. Uh, Gilliam. Gilliam? 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 Gilliam Hugh Lewis. He's, I suppose, above me on the roster here, but we're the same rank. We both get to be the fresh eyed newbies. Although, I'm actually pretty sure he's got, uh, he's got some, uh, he's got flights under his belt, but I don't know if he's got any kills yet. I'm not, I can't. I'm not going to unassign any pilots or reassign any pilots right now because I'm just a. I'm just a fresh face still. May have one kill under my belt, but uh, that's no reason for me to start getting all super fancy and happy with myself. Uh, I'm gonna go. Okay, accept mission. Let's do this. I'll go back to the campaign. Just look at us. Look at us all here. Oh, he does have one aerial victory. Good work, Mister Gillum. Um, we'll jump back to Rise of Flight here. There we go. There we go. Mission. And start. All right, and after a unusually long loading screen, although that being an instant for you guys due to the magic of video editing, we are looking at our mission briefing. As you'll see, it's pretty much the same path as it shows in the campaign generator. You know, we're going south, and then we're going to tango with, across their lands a little bit, and then we're going to come back. Hopefully, maybe. I'm actually, <laughs> I'm actually almost hoping for <laughs> for no uh, combat, because. <laughs> You know, if if it's fighters, I don't know. I, I I may actually die. I got lucky last time with some two seaters, but we'll see. I'm gonna just jump over to my hangar to check things out real quick. Airco DH2. Yeah, see, see, it is actually Airco. I think I uh, I was an idiot before for mispronouncing that. But anyhow, we'll keep our same fuel. Convergence doesn't matter because we have the same Lewis machine gun on the front. Okay, mission. And start. Okay. So let's just go P. Uh, we center our track IR. We'll uh, fiddle with our mixture, max it out there. Make sure that our all of our control surfaces are working properly. I don't think there's a possibility of them not, but whatever. There's some planes up there. I have no idea what those are. I think they might be. I think handies is what they're called. They're the, they're they're huge. They're bombers. So I'm just waiting for my signal here. Oh, that wave of the hand. That's my signal to go ahead and start my engine. The wind sounds quite violent today. Yeah, no kidding. Wow, look at that wind. 
I'm gonna hold my blip switch a bit here to, uh... I'm actually gonna turn a little bit into the wind. Take off this way, because that should make my takeoff a bit easier. Taking off in a crosswind in such a small and light plane is really difficult sometimes. Let's pick up off the ground a little bit. Okay. We are we are up. Let's lean out our mixture here to get us some extra power. Holy jeebus, okay. That crosswind is not liking us. We definitely need to come back and regroup with our squad. That's a harsh wind today. Does not bode well for what today's mission might be. Or sorry, to how it'll play out anyway. Man, coming back to land, not looking forward to that. It does seem the wind is point is going more easterly, so I'll keep that in mind when I come back to land later. So you usually want to try and fly into the wind if you can. Just coming up on the wing here. We have Crowley out front. We have Fabian Richmond, Captain Fabian Richmond in second. And then we have uh, Gilliam Hugh Lewis. I actually remember those names. I'm actually a little proud of myself. So my mixture's leaned out pretty much as much as it can be right now. Man, turbulence is jostling us around. I think it's okay though. We're in the air. We got we got a decent amount of altitude right now, so if we do if we do screw up a little bit, I don't think we're gonna plummet just directly into the ground. I was more a little worried when I put off my landing, or sorry, my takeoff, if I started doing too much spinning, too much banking from side to side as I was trying to take off, I'd probably end up rolling the sucker before I even got it off the ground. A little bit of shame to admit it, but uh, I have done that before. <laughs> Alright, well, for the time being, it seems like we're just flying in formation and we're going to head to our location. We're heading a brief bit north here and then we're actually going to be turning south uh, to head towards our destination or our patrol, anyhow. Um, until then, I'm going to continue here in formation, a little behind formation actually, but in formation behind Mr. Major Crowley and we'll see um, what happens. I will cut the video here and I will bring you guys back in when I feel like something intense and or exciting and or mildly interesting is happening. See you in a bit. Alright, so I'm going to bring you guys back in here. I'm not 100% sure what's going on, but people in my squad are scrambling. One's gone one way, the other's gone the other way. I don't see any aircraft, but it sure seems like there might be some around. Oh, there we go. That is a that is a Fokker E3. We just want to make sure our speed's not so high. Lean on our mixtures so that we're not going so fast. That's a friend. Yeah, there's definitely some fighting going on down here. Okay, whoa. That was an E3 that just fell out of the sky down there. Not a friendly. Repeat, not a friendly. go too fast here otherwise I might very well wreck the crap out of my engine you can see the E3's down there as well as my friends going super fast way too fast for this plane actually so I'm gonna 
go a little easier. Start applying some rudder. There's an E3 right there. A little hiccup in the frame right there, which is kind of strange. If we can get on this guy's tail right here, we might be able to get a kill. Mm, nope, he managed to pull out of that one. So far, not making the smartest dog choice decisions right now. Framerate's taken quite the dive here, which is really strange. Oh well, maybe we could stay on this guy. We might be able to come out of here with a kill. A few good hits. A bit of blip switch going on. Oh, I lost, he lost one of his elevators. Gun jam. Not a good time. Out of ammo. Okay, reloaded. Let's try and stay on him if we can. Pull up the nose ever so gently. No, we don't have the power right now. I'm going to uh, try and give myself a little more power to the engines, which I think I've managed to do. I want to stay on this guy. I'll climb ever so gently. I'm still going ever so slightly faster than him, so I can climb steeper. If I can manage to get my nose up, get right in behind him, I might be able to finish him off. Some good shots in. Dang it, I just wanted to finish this guy off. Frame rate's still dropping, which is weird. That's okay. Oh boy. Man, this E3 does not want to go down. Lots of gun jams going on. Okay, well I'm gonna wait till I'm right up between his shoulder blades before I fire any more.
No! I am out of ammo. Officially out of ammo. I'll do this if I have to. Oh, is that his engine stopped? His engine has stopped. Which means that he... is going to crash. I just want to see how hard he goes down. I'm heading right back to base after this though. This is... Well, this may not be the greatest... greatest... win or victory or mission or whatever. He took literally all of my ammunition. I am out of ammo. If I take more shots, it's just empty magazines. Blipping. Just watching this guy, making sure that he goes down. Get my flare ready for the kill thingy that I do. I don't know. I don't even know the flare. I don't know how uh, harshly, or gently he's going to land, but whatever. He's definitely going down. Turn over to this side, take a look, see. Oh, come on, track IR. Oh, T flip. It's definitely down, though, so I'm getting out of here. Headed back west. Okay. Oh, man. There is flak everywhere. I'm gonna gain some, try and gain some altitude as well. Flak is generally not that dangerous. Like it, it's not super accurate, but I have been hit with it before, and if you actually get hit by it, you are bones. Just, oh no! Oh no! That's, uh, <laughs> that's the end of Teddy Bishop by the looks of it. Oh, man. <laughs> oh, taking down my flak. Oh, that was uneventful. Uh, all right, well, let's see. Here, let's take a look at this is Mr. Bishop. Oh, I despawned. No. Uh, let's see what controls there are here. I think there's a method for me to be able to view, um, friend or friendlies in the Oh, no, it just took me out of it. Okay. Well, that's that. That was the shortest Let's Play series I'd ever seen. Um, you can expect to see another one from me, though. Maybe not with Teddy Bishop. I mean, of course not from Teddy Bishop. <laughs> and of course not with the... Ac well, maybe not, of course not, but... Maybe I'll avoid the uh, Erico DH2. Um, let's go proceed here. and Let's just uh, close this down. I'll pull you guys back over to Pat Wilson's campaign generator. And we'll go combat report... I'll claim one victory though, because I did kill a, I did take a guy down. Fucker E3. Submit report. Start briefing. Went way down. That took forever. PS. Fuck three E or E3 destroyed. That was amazing. That was so great. Oh man, Hugh Hugh Lewis died too. Fucker E3 damage destroyed by uh, Teddy Bishop. Yeah, yeah. Teddy Bishop was damaged and destroyed by. 77 millimeter anti-aircraft guns and that marks the end of Teddy Bishop people it's unfortunate but apparently our up-and-coming ace was more like an up-and-coming <laughs> grave <laughs> Ugh, it's a little, little little bleak actually well uh completely debrief <laughs> we get a medal though check it out we get a wound medal for being dead 
If I finish that and actually watch this, if I leave campaign, it actually shows up here in my campaign thing as Teddy Bishop, rest in peace. So, um, I will be back. Don't worry. Um, <laughs> for all of you who actually do want to watch, Teddy Bishop's story may be over, but I can always start someone another one. Uh, maybe I'll start one in the actual career mode of uh, Rise of Flight. Let people see what that's like instead of just using um, the actual... Uh, or sorry, Pat Wilson's campaign generator. If anyone has any input on that, feel free to drop a comment. Um, as far as future roles, uh, one thing I would like to do actually is uh, take requests from you guys. If you guys want to see me fly a particular airplane or um, it doesn't have to be a scout either. It could be a bomber or a two-seater or I don't have very many of those, but um, um, I, I could always maybe buy, a pit, buy one of them because, you know, for all of you who, that guys who know um, rise of flight at all of course it's a you have to pay for extra for every plane you you get uh totally worth it though but um i think i only have like one or two um two-seater planes maybe one i think one uh no i'm counting like two two three even whatever i have a few i guess um so if there's anything other than the scout you guys um would like to see me fly drop a comment uh other than that i probably will actually uh start another career with a different pilot maybe french yeah I'll probably french um maybe even a newport 11 i think i'd like to try that i've never actually flown one and i have it and i've never actually flown one um so maybe i'll start a career career in that but uh anyway <laughs> um that 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 marks the end of episode two not just episode two but the final episode of my <laughs> first rise of flight career mode as teddy bishop Unfortunately, Flack got the better of him. See everyone next time.